are hot tubs harder to balance the chemicals than swimming pools? I actually usually tell people that they are harder to balance. And well, all of the, the functions of the measurement and the things that you're testing for, it's all pretty much the same between a hot tub and a swimming pool. I'd say the main difference is, is the relatively small volume of hot tubs allows for pretty fast and pretty drastic changes in the chemical levels. Swimming pools are these giant lumbering beasts and they move very slowly and chemical corrections take time. And when you make a correction, it's slowly going to start changing back to what it was before and then you can make another correction. With a hot tub, that same process happens much, much faster. And so I'd say that's a, a very important point for hot tub owners to take away here is that the small volume of water moves quickly. You need to watch it pretty closely, and you also need to pay attention to your dosing. With a swimming pool, it would be pretty hard to end up putting 10 times or 100 times as much chemical as what you thought you needed. In a hot tub, you could do that pretty easily. Was that one cap of bromine that I was supposed to put in, or was it two, or did I put it in already? I'm not sure. You could end up with 10 times or 100 times as much bromine, or you could take a pH of 8 down to a pH of 7 or a pH of 6. And that doesn't sound like a lot until you realize that a pH of 7 is 10 times more acidic than a pH of 8. A pH of 6 would be 100 times more acidic than a pH of 8. So what if you went to do a chemical correction and you kind of weren't paying attention and you made a mistake and you ended up with a pH somewhere in the 6 range instead of 8? Well, your water could be 100 times more acidic than you were expecting it to be. And so these are the ways in which hot tubs can be a little more challenging than a swimming pool. And there is some benefit to it in that it's a smaller body of water. Let's say you messed it up completely. It's not as big of a deal to drain and refill a hot tub as it would be a swimming pool. So I'd say that's one of the, the benefits that you've got going for you, but you do need to keep a close eye on it. And I would recommend testing your water regularly. If you're new with hot tub water balancing and you're like, well, what can I do to help myself out here? I would tell you to test the water all the time, multiple times per day so that you can get a feel for how quickly the different chemical levels change in the water. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.